There's really a new story of business that's uh, emerging. One way to say that is that's a new model of capitalism. Another way to say it is that's always been there. We just for a while forgot about it. Capitalism, uh, when it first got started in the modern sense, it was an engine of prosperity but also rooted in freedom and human dignity. In the 19th century, as competition intensified, as business started to grow, corporations became larger and more powerful and really became just about who could you know, be richer and more successful than the others. So it became this, this game and people became the pawns in that game. Absolutely, there's hope for capitalism and I don't think we have a real alternative to that. I mean, this is the best idea that we human beings have had for creating a system of cooperation that leads to prosperity. Capitalism is the greatest system of social cooperation we've ever invented. We have to become conscious of that business really is about how we cooperate together to create value for each other. There are a lot of movements here. It's corporate social responsibility, uh, sustainability, again, B Corps, conscious capitalism, impact investing. What they all say is something's wrong with the way we think about business. We gotta think about it differently. A company, in order to survive, should be efficient and should make some profit. But this doesn't imply that profit is the last purpose or the highest purpose for the company. Profits are like making red blood cells. You, businesses have to have them, but it's not the purpose of what a big business is. This principle, which I've called the purpose principle, is the idea that ho however you want to think about business, whether it's uh, as being socially responsible or a conscious company or uh, a B Corp or whatever it is, you, you got to take purpose uh, into account. You know, to be successful as an entrepreneur, you've got to have serious passion. Entrepreneurs are on fire about something. They've got a vision of the world that they're, they're trying to realize. The millennial generation is at a very young age, very much driven by purpose. So these three things, self-interest, caring, and purpose, if we can align our, our economic system around that so that people actually are able to realize all three of these human aspirations through their work. Our evidence and that of others suggests that businesses that operate this way, in the long term, they align the forces of value creation in such a way that they generate a lot more value of multiple kinds, including financial. We have to adopt this for the right reasons. There will also be much greater life satisfaction.